That era was like the blue. I don't know if this guy's homeless or he's got Bluetooth. All oh, because right. he's talking, right. to, he's talking himself. to himself. Yeah. He's talking to himself. Yes. Okay, yeah, that was a Now classic. with AirPods, it's even worse. People look at me like I'm fucking insane. Yep. Are, are, you, they, are you doing the bit for real now? No, I mean, but <laughs> it's, it's worse now because it's yeah. like you can't even, it doesn't, you can't even see the, the right. Bluetooth. Thing. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. It is worse. Because there was, there, like, it practically it didn't make sense when people were doing that joke. There's a giant. There's a huge thing with attached a flashing to flashing light on it. They, yeah. they look like Lando's slave. <laughs> <laughs> Lando sucked dicks again. Yeah. Han, old buddy. Oh, listen, Lando. Uh, don't tell Leia what we used to do about any of that. Oh, the secret's safe with me, huh? <laughs> Shit, you don't think I've moved on from all that? I mean, obviously, I keep a boy here. <laughs> Yeah, I fucked him so bad one time they had to remove his brain and replace it with circuitry. <laughs> Isn't that right, Beep Boop? Yes, sir. Oh, shit, dude. December, uh, here today, you want to hear some famous birthdays? Uh-huh. Dame Judy Dench. Dame, okay. Dame Judy Dench. You're tuning in to December 9th. The, Dame Pussy Stench. Today is December 9th. Yep. Today is. Today. Kirk Douglas, huh? Yes. We owe him a lot mm-hmm. on this podcast. Yeah, I'm. I'm Spartacus. Mm-hmm. I'm Spartacus. <laughs> Im- Imogen Heap. I can't wait to have Spartacus. Mm, suck my dick. I want to spread it. Look at some fucking game. Yeah, my penis is like small. How about I spread my cheeks and say Spartacus <laughs> into my ass? <laughs> yeah. mm, right. That sounds good. I use cusses into my ass. Mm-hmm. Michael Dorn. Michael Dorn. Captain, <laughs> Captain, my penis is small. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's right. Captain, I believe my penis is too small. My to use penis the is too tiny, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, I'm angry because my dick is not the size it was promised to be based on the color of my skin. <laughs> Um, Dick Van Patten seems like somebody you would know who that is. Gene Roddenberry just being like, "Well, the Klingons initially, my idea was imagine black people, but they have small dicks. And mm. What would that look like if you have all of that <laughs> latent aggression, but no reward, no outlet?" You were like, mm, yeah. Yeah, mm, "Imagine a, a, a black guy with a Chinese-sized penis, <laughs> but also his forehead had ridges on it." Right. Yeah, that's a lot going on there. Mm-hmm. I should get into sci fi. What if I just transition to being a sci fi writer after this? You should. Just write a thick ass book and it's like, oh, the, the Digaboobians, uh, <laughs> they collect a very st- uh, rare type of space banana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could really get away with some racism. Absolutely. That's, where it, that's the medium that's, to be racist yeah, that, in. Right. But their lips are so big, it changes the atmosphere on their home planet. <laughs> that's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Who was Gene Roddenberry? He was just some guy on a plantation. But his or name makes him sound like he got mad pussy. It, yep. Mm-hmm. That was the berry that went rotten. Was the you pussy. fucked Gene? <laughs> Honey, everybody fucked Gene. Yep. It was the 60s. <laughs> he invented Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked Gene Roddenberry? <laughs> That is an awesome you name. fucking whore. I wonder if he looks like what? As British as that name sounds? Yeah, Gene Roddenberry. I remember yeah. there was that yeah, show. Yes, I'm Gene Roddenberry. There was that show Andromeda that sucked dick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they had to call it like Gene Rod. Didn't they call it Gene Roddenberry? No, maybe I, I'm thinking of another movie. It was Gene another Roddenberry t- something. Gene Roddenberry's Earth. Was that it? Yeah. I think Earth Final Conflict. That's what it was. Yeah, and that show sucked ass. And they had to put Gene Roddenberry's name in there to, like, trick you into thinking it would be as good as Star Trek. Damn, my man had another thing. Yeah. He he just wrote the show, though, right? He never, like, wrote any books or anything. No, I think it's based on... uh, Star Trek, a book? Uh, Maybe. No. Yeah. Gene Roddenberry. I think it is. No. The series was produced under the guidance of his widow... Oh, shit. uh, ...who possessed notes kept by Roddenberry that provide the conceptual basis for the series... Ran for five seasons between 97 and 2002. Oh, you're talking about this shitty yes, show. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. Was his widow hot? Um, Can you see her pussy? She was probably so hot. Mm. Let's look up Gene Rottenberry's wife. 
Gene Rodden. Gene Roddenberry. Wife. Gene Rodden Dirty. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And he's like, what a space. Was filled with fucking drugs. Oh, and damn. She was like, <laughs> <laughs> That's good, man. When you went into space, and as soon as you left the atmosphere, you got high. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, you got fucked up off weed. Oh, Gene looked cool. Mm hmm. Gene's wife was Yeah, big ass sideburns. Gene's wife was kind of hot back in the day, but she. She was an actress, and she guess what? She was hitting Star Trek. Stop. Have you seen Battlefield Earth? I haven't. Oh, my God. We got to watch, watch that. Oh, watch my it. God. We got to yes. watch it, dude. It's so bad, it's, I love It's fun that. to watch for the first no. 20 minutes. No, no. And then it is it's not bad. Tedious. That Battlefield Earth is fucking amazing. Dude. I can't wait. Let's All the horses it. Let's watch it. Let's watch it tonight. It is a fucking amazing Do you know about movie. it? Sort of. Do you know yeah. what it is? It's the L. Ron yeah, Hubbard basically. movie. Yeah. That all the, the L. Ron Hubbard movie. All these like John psycho, yeah, Scientologists were like, yeah. we're going to make this movie, and it's fucking like absurd. Travolta yeah. is on 1,000. Oh, wait. Hold on one second. Yeah. Dude, this man fucked up. One of the, I, I've said it before in the show, but my favorite line ever written is in that movie. What is it? When Barry Pepper speaks their Cylon language. Is he a Scientologist? Bit. Guys, I guys, so. guys. So please, no spoilers. Yeah. We're about to watch it. When, when, when We can talk about it afterwards. Barry Pepper speaks their Cylon language. I'm taking my headphones and off. Forrest Whitaker. I'm taking my headphones off, and I'm uh-huh. plugging up my ears. All right, never mind. What is it? Wait, just I guess say we'll, his, his ears are plugged. Just say it. We'll just we'll do it later. We'll watch it later. We'll watch it later because yeah, we can't. Okay. Okay. We're not. He can't hear say. one line from the. I show. don't like spoilers. It's not a spoiler. It's nothing to do with the plot. <laughs> it's just a line. <laughs> I don't want anything spoiled for me now. <clears throat> can we say this? Gene Roddenberry fucked two of the bitches on Star Trek. His name is Gene Rodden. Who, the black he, fuck, he did fuck the black girl, She's Michelle hot. Nichols, and That's then he weird. married How Major you, Barry. You always know this stuff, and it's like... I'm what? looking it up. But, you, but where is your source? Because you're always... Anytime anyone comes up, you're like, oh, yeah. I haven't read a single piece of Faulkner, but I do know that his penis was <laughs> 6.32 inches. First of all, and I don't he, know what Faulkner's cock looks like. Um, and he fucked Eudora Welty. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, Mutant X. That was another big series from that that period. You remember that show? No, I remember. Oh, dude, name, listen but... to this fucking pimp. He was dating both the black lady on Star Trek, uh, Nichelle Nichols, and Majel Barrett, who I guess was also on Star Trek. And then after several months, according to Wikipedia, no, I'm reading it. After right. several months, he introduced Nichols to Barrett, with whom he had also had been having a relationship. At the time, Roddenberry wanted to remain in an open relationship with both women, Sick. but Nichols, recognizing Barrett's devotion to him, ended the affair. She did not want to be the other woman so to the other woman. Literally, Nick's joke about Gene Roddenberry getting mad pussy in the <laughs> '60s because he made Star <laughs> Trek is. Just, a, it's just salute, true. dude. Mm-hmm. That's a Gene Roddenberry, a real, fact. real ass dude of the week. Yeah, he is the real <laughs> ass dude of the week. He got mad pussy <laughs> in the sixties. Hell yeah, dude. That is another. I switch. love Gene Roddenberry. Well, dude. Yeah, the bulldog has done it again. Shouts out to the big, the Lord Roddenberry. Yeah, that's dude. me, dude. Call me Stavros Michelle Roddenberry. Nichols the way I'm about to get hot. pussy. I also think he had a wife while he was fucking both of them. Yeah, his wife, he died, and he was like, make my show, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and after he died, she had to make that make Battlefield Earth. Mm-hmm. Dude, he had a cool look. Yeah, I love his look. Oh, damn. By the time he started on the series, Nichols said that they were only good friends as his involvement with Barrett continued. However, during the production of the first season, writer Ken Kolb entered Roddenberry's office to wish him a happy birthday and found Nichols there, naked and under the desk. (laughs) Dude, look at this headline. This rules. Patrick Stewart thinks Gene Roddenberry never really accepted him as Captain Picard. Oh, hell yeah. Can you imagine that? <laughs> How, like, to be such a pimp that you made Patrick Stewart, like, <laughs> turn, you, in, turn you into his, like, absentee father That's that whose great. approval he'll never win? Hell yeah, dude. I just want Gene to... I want... Gene got so much pussy I that want I want to love Gene, me. just recognize I want Gene to think that I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> just tell Captain. me that I'm John Luke Picard. <laughs> Gene always said my penis wasn't big enough. <laughs> Captain, I want to show Gene my penis. <laughs> Not now, Mr. Wolf. <laughs> I think he's mad at me. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to do more research. Yeah, on- y'all better be in character in there. <laughs> I'm trying to get pussy in my trailer. 
and come up with this faggot science shit. <laughs> Y'all ruin it by being out of Kirk. Oh, damn. He's, he is from Texas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like that fucking like He's pussy gal. Dude. He's from El Paso. Real ass dude Texas. of the West millennium, Texas. dude. Yeah. West Texas. I'm trying to come up with this science shit and y'all showing <laughs> each other your cocks. <laughs> shit. You better. I better. I'm about ready for my fucking 11 a.m. martini. <laughs> oh, you know he was drinking more. Dude, I oh, love yeah. this fucking No, guy. we get it started every morning. I eat an entire tube of Jimmy Dean. <laughs> wash it down with half a handle of Svedka. <laughs> And then we get right into the science fiction. <laughs> I'm going to say, here it comes now. Spaceship goes faster than light 10 times. <laughs> One of the fastest ships on Earth. That's right. Fastest ship in space. It's so funny. It's and we like... got in the first, first iteration of the show, we got this man, similar to myself, going around the universe fucking every kind of pussy there is. <laughs> Network right. comes back and they say, we want something a little more updated now that the Cold War is fading out. <laughs> I said, okay. We'll put some kind of bald guy in there, make him French or something, so people think maybe he's gay. They say, that's not enough. We need a black guy. I'm like, all right, but he ain't going to have a bigger cock than me. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now, I'll tell partner. you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to give him a small cocks, make him angry, Dude, and what be a, pissed off. What a ledge. Oh, man. Now, if you excuse me, I got some casting to do, quote, unquote. <laughs> Dude, I can't. I'm about to do some research on him. Yeah. I want to look.